Hello viewers, welcome to my channel. So today we'll talk about the different type of caching strategies. So before understanding the cache strategies, let's first understand why we need a caching strategy. Suppose we have uh, multiple clients that is coming from the browser. This is the browser one, browser two, browser three, and we have application here. Here we have a caching server, which keep the data for the frequently accessed data, which is nothing but in the RAM. And here we have a database. So whenever the read requests are coming, we are reading from the cache and wherever the write requests are coming. So we are writing into the database. So it is very important the data should be in sync, right? Whatever the data is present to the cache and whatever the data is present to the DB should be in sync. Suppose in the database A equal to 5, then the cache is also having the data A equal to 5. Suppose if the data is A is updated to the 7, then the same data should be updated into the cache. Otherwise, what will happen? We will serve the stale data or the older data, right? So that this could be a problem. So we need a solution which will sync the data from the DB to the cache or from the cache to the DB. To solve this problem, we have a different type of caching strategies. This one we have a cache aside. So in this, when browser send a read request, it will first check the data is present into the cache or not. If the data is not present into the cache, then the application will read the data from the database and then it will update the particular data into the cache and then it will confirm the response, whatever the data he read from the DB. So this is how the cache aside will work. And if the second time the data is present into the cache, then it will directly return the data from the cache itself. So what are the advantages and disadvantages of the cache aside? So first one will be it will be good for the read heavy application. If the application is not able to fetch the data from the cache, the application can fetch the data from the database, right? So that could be also an advantage. And what are the disadvantages we have? Initially, if the user requests a new data, definitely it will be not present to the cache. So that's why this could be a first disadvantage. And suppose any write is happening any directly to the DB write and any data is present into the cache like A equal to 5 and it is having the TTL of 5 minute and in the database if the A is updated equal to 7 until unless this is expired right the new data will not be updated into the cache so this could be a also a problem with the cache aside data inconsistency problem this is the first read strategy so this is the second read strategy second one we have a read through cache when the browser requests a read to the application then application will first check the cache if it is having the data or not into the cache then the cache will responsible for fetch the data from the database and return to the application and then application will return to the response to the browser so in the cache aside application will responsible to fetch the data from the db if the data is not present to the cache but in the read through cache the cache will be responsible to fetch the data if the data is not present to the cache so this is the main difference between the cache aside and the read through cache so what are the advantages we'll get while using the read through cache so first one is good for the read heavy application here the application is not overloaded right because application has not need to fetch the data from the database if it is not present to the cache that possibility will be taken care by the cache itself so this is the advantage so what are the disadvantage in the first time whenever the new data requested from the cache currently the data will not be present to the cache so it, it will first fetch the data from the database and in the subsequent request the data will be present into the cache suppose if a equal to 5 here initially and a equal to 5 here if the ttl is having a one minute and if we, before one minute it is expiring if the data is updated into the database from some other sources right seven then it could serve the stale data right because it is not expired from the cache so these are the disadvantages so for write operation we have a first one is a write through cache so in write through cache first the write come to the application and application will write which to the cache and third it will synchronously write the data to the database and it will get the confirmation from the database and once the data is written to the database and it can then it will get the confirmation from the cache once the data is written to the cache also then it will return the successful io operation is done for write to the browser so this is how in the same time both the places will update it first into the cache and then it will be the database then the io will be confirmed what is the benefit we will guess so benefit will be the cache and the database will be always be in a sync both these will always be in a sync right suitable for the read quint read application which provide the consistent data because both is having the consistent data and for a read heavy application it will be a very good option and what are the disadvantages we have here so most of the data presented to the cache might not be needed for the frequent access because whatever the data is coming right we are always writing into the cache so in this scenario we might not be needed for those uh, data for frequent access right so unnecessary the uh, sizes will increase for the cache and right 
write latency will also increase in that scenario because it has to write first into the cache and second into the database and then it's confirming the IO. So write latency will increase. So in write operation, second we have a write back cache. So in write back cache, what will happen? A browser will send the write request to the application. Application will first write into the cache and then it will confirm the IO to the application. Then application will confirm the IO to the browser. And later point of time, it will segregate all the writes and it will write at once asynchronously to the database. So what are the benefits we'll get while using the write back cache? So first one will be the good for heavy write application because it will reduce the write latency it will collect all the writes in a cache and it will write at once into the database and the application requested data will be most of the time will be presented to the cache because first it is written to the cache then will be written to the db so the chances of the data presented to the cache will be high here and what are the disadvantages we have here suppose some data is written to the cache and this cache is gone down and th that particular data is not as of now synced to the database right in that scenario data will be permanently lost third write operation strategy we have a write around cache so in write around cache the, the write will be directly happening to the database so browser will send the write request to the application and application will directly write to the database and it will not write to the cache how are we gonna use it then we have to club with the cache aside or through the read through cache so we have a two option with that we have to club write around cache so will we get a better performance let's see how it happens with the cache aside Side. browser will send the write request to the application server application will directly write to the db and whenever the read request will come to the application right so it can read it from the cache if it is having the data if it is not having the data it will read it from the db update into the cache and then it will return the response so this is how the read aside works and in the read through cache what will happen the browser will send the write request to the application server application will write the directly to the database and whenever the read request comes to the application server it will read through the cache if the cache having the data it will return it if it is not having the data it will read it from the db update his cache and then it will return to the application server and then application server will return that data to the browser so this is how the write around will work with the combination of the cache aside and the read through cache so what are the advantages we will get a data consistency between cache and the database data will be consistent it will be used where the write performance is more critical than read performance right so that's why we are write directly writing into the DB. And what is the disadvantages here we have? So whenever the data requested for the first time from the cache, right? So whenever the data requested first time to the cache, it will be not be available because we have not written data to the cache, right? So we are writing to the DB. So it has to get it from the DB and it has to update himself and then it, it has to return the response to the application server. So it's not suitable for the application where write is happening into the database frequently and read is also having very frequently right so in this case always be a cache miss is happening means data will not present to the cache and always we have to read it from the db and update into the cache and then we have to return the response to the browser so this is all about the caching strategy so i hope you like the video please do subscribe my channel to get to know more about the system design topics